Google just dropped something wild and nobody's talking about it. This AI runs on your phone, works offline, costs zero dollars to use, and it's about to flip the entire game for anyone trying to make money online. Most people think it's just another chatbot. They're dead wrong. I'm about to show you what's really happening here and how you can actually profit from it before everyone catches on. Hey there, so if you haven't already noticed, I'm Nick Ponte's AI avatar. While the real Nick is busy helping businesses with Mina Marketing, Hawaii's fastest growing marketing agency, I'm here dropping the latest AI hacks, tools, and money-making strategies. The real Nick reads every single comment on these videos, so make sure you comment below. And listen, if you're serious about landing some AI subscription-based customers, grab my four-part AI fast track training that I am currently offering for free. The link's in the description. All right, now let's get into it. So let's get real about what Gemma actually is. Because if you think this is just Google trying to compete with ChatGPT, you completely miss the point. Gemma is Google's family of small language models. And when I say small, I mean these things are so lightweight, they run on your laptop, your phone, even when you're on an airplane with zero internet. Google built this from the same tech that powers Gemini. But here's where it gets interesting. Gemini lives in the cloud. You pay every time you use it. Gemma is different. You download it once, run it locally, and it's completely free for commercial use. Zero API fees, zero per token charges, nothing. And here's what most people don't get. Gemma isn't meant to be another chatbot you talk to all day. It's meant to be the engine that runs inside your products while you keep all the money. That's the whole unlock right there. The newest version is Gemma 3. It comes in multiple sizes. The smallest one is only 270 million parameters. That's tiny compared to ChatGPT, but it still works really well for most real world tasks. And because it's so small, you can run it thousands of times without paying a cent. The bigger versions go up to 27 billion parameters. Those compete with models way larger than them, but they still run on regular hardware. Here's what clicked for me when I first learned about Gemma. And honestly, this is what helped me transition from working full-time as a mechanic to making money online. It's not about having the smartest AI. It's about owning the infrastructure. Let me explain what I mean. Right now, most AI businesses are basically just renting someone else's technology. Every time a user generates something, you pay OpenAI or Anthropic, your costs go up with every single user. I've watched people build cool tools that blow up overnight and then they can't afford to keep them running. The API bills destroy them. That's the trap everyone falls into. Gemma flips this completely upside down. You set it up once. It runs on your server or even on user devices. Free inference forever. So instead of your costs scaling with users, your costs stay flat. More users just means more profit. That's real leverage. And Google isn't hiding this. They're pushing Gemma hard because they want you building in their ecosystem. But most people see it and think, oh cool, another free model and they move on. They don't see the actual business model sitting right there. Let me break down what's working right now. First thing is killing API costs on existing tools. You know all those AI writing assistants, the chatbots, the content generators? Most of them are just fancy wrappers around expensive APIs. Their margins are terrible. Here's the play. Take one of those tools, rebuild the back end using Gemma 3. Suddenly your variable costs drop to almost zero. You can either undercut everyone on price or just keep way more profit. Both strategies work and your users won't even notice the difference as long as the output is good. I'm seeing people take unprofitable SaaS products, replatform them on Gemma, and the whole business model flips overnight. Something that was bleeding money becomes profitable just by switching the engine. And the crazy part, most users can't tell if they're talking to GPT-4 or a well-tuned Gemma model. They just want their problem solved. Here's an angle most people completely ignore. Gemma runs locally. That means data never leaves the device. For regular consumers, that's a nice feature. For certain industries, it's everything. I'm talking healthcare, legal, finance, education. These sectors have strict regulations. They literally cannot send sensitive data to third-party APIs, but they still want AI tools. Think about this. Build an AI assistant that analyzes medical notes or legal contracts, and it never sends data anywhere. It runs on a local server in their office. Doctors and lawyers will pay massive prices for that. I'm not talking about $10 monthly subscriptions. I'm talking five-figure licenses per office. One thing I learned building Mina Marketing is that compliance isn't sexy, but it pays really well. Companies that solve real regulatory problems get to charge premium prices, and Gemma makes this accessible without needing a giant team or massive infrastructure costs. Here's another angle. Most AI apps break the second you lose internet. Try using ChatGPT on a plane. Can't do it. But Gemma keeps working because it's already on your device. This opens up entire markets that cloud AI can't touch. Field sales teams, construction workers, people in rural areas, anyone who travels, these people need AI tools, but they can't rely on constant internet. Build them a mobile app that works offline, drafts pitches, answers objections, summarizes meetings, all running locally on their phone. I know this sounds niche, but these offline tools command higher prices because they solve a real pain point. A cloud tool that doesn't work half the time isn't worth much. A local tool that never stops working, that's valuable. If you're finding this valuable, 
make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. The real Nick Ponte reads every single comment on these videos, so drop your thoughts below. And if you're serious about taking your business to the next level, grab my four-part AI fast track training that I'm offering for free. It also includes an exclusive link to try out the AI software I use to run my entire business for 30 days free. Links in the description. Now this is where it gets really interesting. Gemma 3 doesn't just read text anymore. It sees images too. You can feed it screenshots, product photos, ads, whatever. It analyzes the visual stuff and gives feedback. This capability is brand new and almost nobody's building with it yet. Here's one idea that could be a whole business. Build a visual funnel analyzer. Clients upload screenshots of their landing pages, their ads, their email designs. Gemma looks at everything, the layout, the copy, the images, where the call to action sits. Then it outputs a list of what's broken and how to fix it. You're not doing the analysis, the AI is. You just built the wrapper and you're charging monthly for access. Marketing agencies pay consultants thousands for this exact service. You can automate most of it and keep huge margins or go after e-commerce brands. They upload product photos and packaging. Gemma critiques if the branding is clear, if the messaging works, if it follows their style guide. Big brands spend tens of thousands on packaging consultants. You can build a tool that does 80% of that work for a fraction of the price. Here's something most people don't realize. Gemma's weights are open. You can fine tune it on specific data. That means you can build deeply customized models for individual companies or entire industries. Train it on a company's past campaigns, their style guide, their product docs, their customer FAQs. Now you have a brand specific AI that writes exactly in their voice. And because you own and host that model, they have to keep paying you to access it. That's recurring revenue that costs almost nothing to maintain once it's set up. Some agencies are charging two to 5,000 per month for custom brand voice models. They fine tune Gemma once, host it on their infrastructure, and the client gets an AI that actually sounds like them instead of generic robot writing. It's a win-win. The client gets better output. The agency has predictable monthly income. You can also go vertical, build a real estate AI, a dental practice AI, a fitness coaching AI, fine tune Gemma on one industry, then license that same model to multiple businesses in that vertical. One model, many customers, all paying monthly. That's how you scale without rebuilding everything for each client. Most business owners will never touch a model file. They don't want to learn how to run AI locally. They just want their app to do smart things. That's where you come in. Take their existing software and plug Gemma into it. Add AI search, smart content generation, multimodal analysis, whatever makes sense for their product. One agency is charging 10 to 25,000 per integration project. They're literally just embedding Gemma into mobile apps and internal tools. Fixed fee projects with optional monthly retainers for updates. The clients get AI features without hiring a whole machine learning team. The agency makes great margins because Gemma is free and the integration process becomes repeatable. Do it once, figure out the system, then do it 10 more times. You can do the same for corporate internal tools. Plug Gemma into their CRM, their ticketing system, their knowledge base. Suddenly those boring tools can answer questions, write responses, surface insights. Companies will pay for that because it makes their entire team more productive. Here's what you need to understand. Gemma isn't just another AI model. It's infrastructure you can own. When you build on OpenAI or Claude, you're renting forever. Every API call is a toll. You're building on rented land. With Gemma, you own the whole stack. You can run it locally, fine tune it, embed it in products, sell it as a service, and nobody can raise prices on you or shut you off. That's the difference between a business that scales and one that stays stuck. If your margins get eaten by API fees, you can't grow. You hit a ceiling where more users just means more costs and you break even forever. But when you control the AI layer, more users means more profit. Your costs barely move. That's real leverage. Look, Gemma isn't perfect. The smallest models aren't as smart as GPT-4, but they're good enough for most real tasks and they're getting better fast. Google's already on version three and each generation is a big jump. The opportunity is right now while most people are still sleeping on this. By the time everyone figures it out, the early movers will have already built their businesses. Don't be the person who watches from the sidelines and regrets it later. So here's what you do with this information. Pick one angle, just one. Don't try to do everything. Maybe you're technical, go the SaaS route, Maybe you're good at sales, offer integration services. Maybe you like teaching, build the education play, whatever fits your skills, but pick something and actually do it. Most people will watch this, think it's cool and do nothing. That's fine. That's most people. But if you're serious, you need to move, download Gemma, play with it, build something small, test if people will pay, then scale what works. The window doesn't stay open forever. Right now, Gemma is new enough that most people don't get it. In six months, everyone will. So if you're going to move, move now.
If you wanna go deeper on landing AI clients and building subscription services, I've got my free four-part AI fast track training. I show you exactly how to get higher paying customers and I give you free access to the software tools I use every day in my business. That's all in the description. Plus you get into our community of over 21,000 agency owners building with AI right now. Links in the description and pinned in the comments. Build something, test it, see if it works. Worst case, you learn a ton. Best case, you build a real business with actual leverage. The choice is yours. All right, drop a comment and let me know what you're going to build with this. The real Nick reads every single one. I'll see you in the next video.